All right. Well, if you have two left feet, kind of like me, the instructors at CSB Dance Studio will teach you to be a star, whether it's at your wedding or at a national competition. And nationally certified ballroom instructor and owner of CSP Dance Studios, Patty Smith, is with us, along with Chris Quintana and dance student Cassidy Sweet. Welcome to Two Casa Style. Thanks, How y'all doing this morning? Good, good. Good, fantastic. All right, well, tell us a little bit about the CSP Dance Studio. Um, well, what we're really here to talk about this morning is our kids program. Okay. Um, we have a great kids program, and what we offer is two types of lessons. Mm -hmm. We offer private lessons, which are great for kids because they get one-on-one -on -one instruction with their instructor, okay. and uh, they can get that private attention that they're mm -hmm. looking for. They also have a more accelerated learning rate through private oh, okay. lessons. And we also offer group classes where kids are learning in a setting of many kids, learning together, um, building important skills like uh, teamwork and, uh -huh. and respect and uh, how to work with others. Right, well, yeah, and dancing, I'm sure, absolutely, it's a it's a team effort, yeah. I mean, just in itself. So, uh, now, I'm always a little confused about this. What exactly, uh, what types of dances are ballroom dances? Well, ballroom is a big word. Mm -hmm. So, many times when people hear ballroom, they think of the formal dances, right. like waltz, foxtrot, tango, mm -hmm. but the word ballroom includes so many, mo or so much more than that. It includes cha-cha, rumba, swing, Paso Doble, Bolero, there's just so many dances. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Now, you said you, you teach mostly kids. What is, what is the age range that you teach? Well, we, te we actually teach all ages, uh -huh. and we teach mostly adults. However, we do have a kids program. Our kids program is ages 8 mm -hmm. all the way to age 17. Eight. That's, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Wow. And, and which... Uh, which age group do you think is the best? Which uh, which do you see uh, well, quick acceleration in learning? Um, you know what? Every age group has its own challenges. Yeah, Every sure. age group is different. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's one that is the best, mm -hmm. but I always say as soon as you can get your kids started, mm -hmm. the earlier the better. Fantastic. And Cassidy, when did you start ballroom dancing? Two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, what drew you to ballroom dancing? Well, I did gymnastics for nine years wow. and okay. just decided to stop this summer. Mm -hmm. And I had been watching So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars, and I wanted to try it. And so I was like, Mom, can I try it? And she's like, you want to try this? Yeah. We didn't even know they had ballroom dancing, so we looked up ballroom dancing for kids on the Internet and found CSP, and I've been going there ever since. Fantastic. Well, um, uh, what do you like best about doing ballroom dancing? The dr how dramatic it is. Ah, okay. Because I'm very dramatic, okay. and so I like doing that a lot. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, you really can do a lot of drama and gymnastics. Of course, it takes a lot of physical exertion, but, but yeah. uh, you can really express yourself with ballroom, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, Chris, what is it, um, what is it like teaching uh, girls of her age and, and working with students? Now, you, I mean, you don't look yeah. like you're, you're an old hat. You look like a very no. young man. So what is it like teaching these groups? Uh, it's, really, it's really a lot of fun. It's uh, a lot of just working individually with each person. You know, everyone's learning at a different rate. Like uh, Patty said, mm -hmm. uh, everyone wants to work on something different. So um, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fun for me, you know, helping people kind of achieve these things that they thought they could never do before right and you know seeing that moment when they light up and like oh I can do this yeah I, I, it's it's uh, really fulfilling that eureka moment that's got to yeah. be beautiful as a teacher yeah well you know I mean I'm, I'm a lover of the performing arts and I absolutely believe that art is important for all capacities of life but specifically what do you think is important with dance and how it can help others excel in their lives oh um, I think it's important uh, well, it, it does provide some physical benefits. You know, mm -hmm. you get your exercise. Uh, it helps develop coordination. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps uh, develop your memory, mm -hmm. uh, keeping keeping it strong. Uh, and it also gives you a boost of confidence. Great. You know, I myself, before I started dancing this, I was a uh, I was very shy. Yeah. And uh, since uh, taking since doing ballroom dance over at the studio. Uh, I feel like I've come out of my shell a lot more, and I think that's the biggest benefit that I've seen. That's fantastic. Is being able to express myself yeah, more. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Patty, I'm, I'm sold. I know a lot of parents are. How can we sign our kids up? Um, well, all you need to do is to call the studio. Okay. Um, They're on our screen? Yes, the number that is mm -hmm. on the screen. Okay. Um, they can register their kids for group classes. Mm -hmm. Our group classes are Fridays at 5.30 and 6.30 or they can even schedule private lessons, which are great because it works around the busy schedule. I know a lot of kids, yeah. they have school mm -hmm. and other extra, extracurricular activities. Privates yeah, are really great because you can take a private whenever you want. That's really great, especially if you're a little shy. 
That's fantastic. Well, thank you all so much for coming on, and best of luck in your future of dancing. Thanks, all right.